Good afternoon, everyone. I know it's a little bit early for me to normally stream, but, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, and uh, this is the only time I can slot in this stream between law school and D&D. You know, relatable problems that everyone has, right? So, we're trying this for now. This is going to be the continued Thursday stream trial period. Sorry, fixing my headphones. Uh, we're going to see how we like this. And, uh, we can decide, you know, if we put these to Saturdays, we can do that. Um, but my schedule is going to be up in the air a bit, uh, which I'll talk about at the end of the stream. Uh, so how today is going to work. We're going to do this until 5.30 latest. And then I have to go because I am in charge of giving people rides, um, to D&D &D tonight. But that's not, wow, why is my chat like so far down? I don't know. Chat, what are you doing? Hello. About it being early and afternoon. Well, you know what? It's it's early for me, all right, Funk? So don't be sassy right now. Hang on. The chat is too small. Must fix. I keep forgetting that it changes depending on which uh, scene I'm using. Let's try that. That... Nope, oh, there we go. Little bit too long. Little bit too long. Hold on. This is wasting time. All right, perfect. Okay, chat is running away. Chat is fine. Okay, hopefully that should work. So, today, we only have a few things left to do. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, there are a few additions to our little title screen here. Uh, we got Amara over here in the corner because I did hang out with her. Uh, and we also have a shadow on Adine because it was her bad ending that I chose to do. Um, just because I happened to be on the pathway for it while I was trying to get other achievements. It sucked. Um, just so everyone knows, it was very sad and be glad I didn't subject you to it. So, on that note, I have two separate save files that we're going to start with today. Because... Some of you uh, may have seen in the Discord that when I was doing a Mara scene, I was literally dying because it is just a giant euphemism. And I really would love to show that to you um, if you all would like to see it. It is, it is literally just... I couldn't contain myself, which is why I had to post in the Discord. It's just a lot. And then this save right here is where I believe we actually need to be. I have a guide pulled up on how to do this because it seems to be a little bit complicated so we're gonna um we're gonna do that but we're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna start the stream off on a uh, a little bit of a light-hearted note um so i skipped through the beginning of the scene just so i could also this music's great um so just so i could get to the the meat of the situation oh god damn it um <laughs> no euphemism there intended uh what she's asking me to do is um paint her horns because she has an important meeting in a minute and um she wants to look presentable so she's asking me if i know how to use a brush i do so you know i'll blame you in front of the whole council if you mess it up of course i removed the cork from a gl glass bottle that was filled with a red somewhat vis vicious liquid that's not how you pronounce that word viscous yeah there we go that's better after did this part isn't the euphemism part so i'm gonna kind of go through it a little bit fast um we made her horns pretty red. Don't forget her elbow and those on her neck. It's very important. Um, she has to look great. Now, I know everyone in chat has a lot of feelings about Amara. Um, those of you that have been here for a while. Skip a bit. Yeah, I mean, I can. Oops, I just turned off the music. There we go. Look at her. Look at her nice little red horns now. Viscous is pretty raunchy. Just wait. Just you wait. Um, uh, for you, anytime. Gotta suck up to the, uh, the politicians, you know. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, how does it look? What do you think about the color? Uh, it goes well with your makeup and jewelry. Which is what I said last time. I'm not doing anything new now. It's exactly what I was going for. And now, she wants, um, a massage. Do I mind giving her a massage? Not at all. Not at all. Hello, McBall. Welcome to the stream. Your dragons are back. Um, she wants a massage, so we're gonna give her one. 
My kind tends to be very physical, and I haven't quite gotten used to this office lifestyle. She lay down on a mat and pillow she quickly produced from somewhere and presented her back to me. I bri briefly wondered if she kept these items in the office for occasions just like this one. There she is! Laying down. So, what should I do? You can start at the neck and work your way down. Well, I don't know much about massaging an earth dragon. What kind of, uh, movements are we talking about here? No, let's not talk about moist. Leave the- I hate that word. I think it's gross. Just put your palms on it- <laughs> on it and start rubbing in circles and don't hold back. I assure you we earth dragons can take anything you dish out. Alright. I put my hands on her rather girthy neck. <laughs> <laughs> and did she- I'm not gonna get through it. I- I pretty much died on my own when I did it by myself. Uh, rubbing my palms on it in a circular motion. Why is my safari opening? I don't want that. Go away. I was about to ask her if I was doing it right when I heard her voice. Oh yeah, this is love- that is lovely. Just be careful around the spines. I think we both don't want this to end with an impaled hand. She- she thick. After she had mentioned that, I couldn't help but watch her spines a bit more closely while I continued my administrations. That's when I knew what they were going for here. I was like, ah, it's they're doing it on purpose. They seemed to be made from the same material as the horn on her muzzle. Even though they were not as girthy, they still started out with a rather wide base, ultimately culminating at a point that didn't seem sharp enough to cause any damage by accident. Hmm... <laughs> when I resumed my treatment, she suddenly bucked, her spines only missing me by inches when she suddenly threw her head up. I guess she wasn't kidding around by watching for the spines. Fearing a bit for my safety, I moved down to her shoulders. Thanks. <laughs> Your hands are wonderful, Diana. Is that so? The movements, the income. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. It most certainly is. I moved further down to her back, noticing the increased roughness and armor that covered her there. Don't hold back now. Put your strength into it or I won't even feel a thing. Following her guidance, I increased the pressure from my palms more and more. Harder. <laughs> I gave it everything I could. As I kept going at her, I noticed the muscles beneath her armor softening noticeably. You know how to please, don't you? Uh, if you say so. I certainly do. By this point, I'd moved down to her hips, giving them the same treatment as with the rest of her body. Yeah, that's the... I can't! I had to show it. Like, you don't know what having to sit in an office all day does to my hips. Unrelentingly, I continued, vowing not to stop until every last knot in her muscles was gone. Don't stop now. Give it all you got. This is just like all your first dates? Uh, I don't want to know what kind of dates you've been going on. I went faster, tenderizing her like a rump steak. Just like that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. And with that, my treatment was done. Her hips now as soft and supple as a jello-filled beanbag, which is just a weird image that I didn't ever need in my life. I mean, it is a rump. And now, silence. Uh. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And that's it. That's that's it, pretty much. But, I just, you know, Thank you. Uh, you know. <laughs> Shogun's like, God, why did I come back? I'll keep that in mind. And that's- that's it. That's it. That's really it. But I- I felt like I was obligated to- to show my experience. Um, now, we can go do what we're actually here to do. Uh, which is this. One. So, where we are is the investigation in chapter two. Um, and what we need to do is- actually, I should open the chat in a separate tab so I can see you guys. Because it will make me very sad if I can't. Actually, I think I just need to make this smaller. No, 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 no. Go back. I should have fixed this beforehand. Come here, chat. Come back to me. Chat, no. Okay. I forgot how great this game was. 
Okay, we're just gonna have to. There we go. There we go. All right, we got it now. We got it. Okay. So, we need. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the bits, Shogun. Like a nice rump steak. Oops. Where did it go? Come back, please. Okay. So, we need to start a new game. Go to chapter two. Once there, go north to the park. North. In the park. I was like, we're already in the park. We're gonna need to go north. We need to open the hatch. Because before, we found a bandage here. But now... Button. Button. And counterclockwise, I think? There we go. Nailed it. So that's different. Uh, we've never seen this before. Beneath the hatch, a strange-looking orb of darkness was floating in the shaft that leads down to the maintenance tunnels. As I looked into the pitch-black center of the orb, I felt strangely drawn to it, its slow hum beckoning me to come closer. Should we touch it? Or not? Guess what? We're gonna touch it. Touch it! Oh god! Uh, so this is the very beginning of the game that I, um, actually, you guys never got to see because I played it through once on my own. Um, touch it with their nice soft hands. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's Remy. <laughs> it's Remy. He was the orb. He was. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get the freaking guide to show up so that I can still see the chat. There we go. That should do it. No, 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 no. Maybe we just summoned a five-star Remy. Well, I wish I could summon anything five-star at this point. So, okay, sorry. Now everything is in place. It was a dragon, as, an, as I could now see a dragon who not only had a pair of round glasses, but also wore a burgundy tie around its neck. In the name of our people, I bid you- So this is what happens the first time you start up the game. Uh, if I may introduce myself, I'm Remy, your guide and ambassador, representative of our council. The dragon spoke. It was one thing to have heard and read about this, but something else entirely to have once- Did I lose all my memories by touching that stupid orb? In flesh and blood and tongue. It was good that all my mental preparedness and, and tongue uh, had disappeared when I was teleported. Tele wow, okay. We're, we're reading real good today because nothing could have prepared me for this. Remy, when were you going to tell me you were an orb of darkness? Oh, I was getting around to it. Oh, stop. Sorry, I imagine you still might feel the effects of the teleportation. Drowsiness or weakness is not unusual, as is fainting and spontaneous emptying of your bowels, bladder, or stomach. How do you feel? Rendered speechless, I had totally forgotten that I was shouldering the burden of representing my people to them as well. So much for being professional, but at least you gave me a good excuse for my blunder. I, I think I'm alright. I'm glad to hear that. This is already promising to be a long endeavor. I don't know. We're gonna at least we're gonna start it today and see how long we t how long it takes. Maybe we should go before it gets too dark. Come with me. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So I followed the dragon, not straying too far from it, as the sun had already departed for the day, and the remaining light diminished by the minute. Now we're going to our house. It's getting hard to see where I'm going. Sorry about that, but we had a good reason to schedule your arrival like this. We do not want you to be ambushed by a crowd, so we had to keep your exact time and date of arrival secret. Thanks. I suppose an event like this would make me a celebrity of sorts. It'd be the same if one of you came to us. I like the implication that Reza may have had an accident. I know, how else do they find out about it, right? The, the, Reza is only the first person to come through, and I'm the second, so he, that means he had to have done all of those things. I'm just saying. Uh, some people here are rather superstitious. They might re regard you or any of your kind as divine, I suppose. Really? How so? I do have certain myths that involve humans and such. I suppose the history lesson will have to wait for another time. Uh, which we've already done. Here we are. That's what they said, Funk. It's possible. Also of, uh... Uh, your stomach, so he may have also puked. I would like to believe that, personally. 
By this point, it gotten so dark that I could barely make out the buildings before us. I briefly wondered whether they may have streetlights elsewhere or if they just did not require any due to possible enhanced eyesight or night vision. I could vaguely see the dragon, his light color still visible within the blackness that engulfed the area, rear up and manipulate the door handle with one of his front forepaws. His forepaws. There was no front there. I don't know why I needed to clarify. The hinges creaking, the door opened, and with the flick of a switch, the apartment was flooded with light, blinding me after all the time we'd just spent without it. This is where you'll live for the time being. It's fully stocked, but in case you need anything else, I left you a note with a few phone numbers. It's getting rather late, so I'll have to take my leave now. In any case, someone will come and meet you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Remy. Have a good night. Until we meet again. Goodbye! With a nod, Remy left the apartment, mindful enough to close the door behind himself. Surveying the room, I considered the events that had just transpired as my gaze met the window. I could see movement outside, and startled, I could hear footsteps in the grass moving away quickly. Assuming it must have just been the dragon I just met, I thought nothing of it as I went to bed and slowly succumbed to the sweet allure of sleep overdue. I don't remember if that happened the first time. I'm actually going to quick save, just in case. Spent a few moments thinking about my role, my mission, and what it meant to be here now. So... This choice is something that I made at the beginning of the game, and you don't make it again because you never see the scene again. So, I was eager for the adventure to come adds an extra line in the true ending. I don't remember what I picked the first time, and it doesn't say which one you're supposed to pick. So, I'm going to say responsibility, which is why I quick saved, Because I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Now, here I was, a stranger in a strange land, as I only began to feel the weight of the burden that lay upon me. The pressure of my task and the expectations I would have to meet in representing a species, culture, and civilization. So many would depend on it, yet I did not even know where the only human contact I had currently was. I was alone. Frickin' Reza. Alright, so hopefully... Here we go. Alright, this is different. We've never seen this before. I suddenly awoke to the chill of the cool outside air. The stars of the night sky were the first thing I saw as I found myself being dragged along the ground. When I exclaimed in surprise, the movement suddenly stopped. I looked around and saw that Izumi was watching me. Hey, we know who she is! Izumi, what are you doing? I'm sorry, you're supposed to be asleep and not recognize me. I suppose things are different this time, but at least this means I won't have to carry you. Come on. Sweet! Hey girl, how you doing? The person was outside before. We now have an idea of who it was. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's literally been over a year. Oh, good old bionicle mask. She led me through unfamiliar territory as we walked through the land for several minutes. Shrouded in darkness, I felt a little uneasy as it was hard for me to follow her. This is the day of my arrival, right? You remember, don't you? In that case, maybe you can help me with this. Hey, girl! How you doing? Good to see you. She handed me a shovel that she'd picked up from somewhere. It gets rather tiring having to do this on my own every time. I'm not as young as I was when this all started, you know. What am I doing here? Is this going to be your grave or mine? I don't know that yet. There's no shortage of bodies that will need one. Oh, good. So, what do you remember? Everything. I remember you showed me this place before. The graves. Yeah, that was really morbid. I do remember that. That time, we also achieved our goals together. So they are safe? What a comforting thought. As good as that may be, however, having achieved our goals in another timeline doesn't help us here. In this one, we have to do it all over again. If you still have that knowledge, we should have no trouble doing the same thing here, though. Maybe we could even do more than that. What are you talking about? Come on, I'll show you something. Cool, what's that? Because the true ending usually means only some people get murdered. Well, remember, I mean, we did see the true ending last time, and a lot of people I mean, not a lot of people, but a fair amount of people died. Um, so, didn't she died, right? I think so. I didn't die, I don't think. I don't remember. The details are fuzzy. I just remember some things. So this is where you live, huh? Indeed. Wow, girl, this is pretty nice. It's a little fancy for a hideout, I'd say. Where the hell was this the whole time? Why couldn't I stay with you? This building used to be a prison before they moved the inmates to a bigger facility. Apparently, this one didn't get much use. Izumi got dead. She caught the dead. 
If that was the true ending, then what is this? That's the good ending. This is technically the true ending. I kind of mistitled them. Because I, th I thought that that was the end. I didn't know about this. Um, when we did the good ending, I really had no idea that this existed. Until I think Carrick told me. Or I found it while I was making sure I was on the right track for the good ending. I didn't know that this was another ending. Why did they go back if they saved everyone? Uh, I don't know. Just to keep the timeline working, I guess. There can't be more than one of me and I need to keep going back and forth. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it. Or I just don't remember. I believe Carrick mentioned it. This is more like a secret true ending. Yeah, this. I was going to say, this isn't a full like other route ending. It's just a secret. Um... They're planning to repurpose it, but you know how bureaucracy works. It'll be a while before they made up their minds. For the time being, we're safe here. Oh my god! Gave Nightbot? What? I don't even have Nightbot. Well, that's fine, I guess. I don't even use Nightbot, but that's cool. Maybe I will now. I don't know. Thank you so much, whoever that was. Uh, anonymous gifter. That scared me. <laughs> hmm. And what do we do now? I have some things that need to be taken care of. Here, you can use my computer in the meantime. Just be nice to him. Alright. Now we have a computer. Ooh, nice. Reading global performance level. Running security override. Access granted. So, if you did not have 60 achievements before you went and touched that orb, you wouldn't be able to do this. And I'm pretty sure it deletes all your save files. I'm gonna check that, actually. Oh no, it doesn't. They lied to me. Okay, good. Um, but I thought- no. It, it, it acts like it does. Because, um... It goes, it sends you back to the beginning, uh, but it doesn't, thank god. Someone was messing with me. Um, this guide said that, but I think it was a joke. That would have been really mean if it did. Um, hello, Diana. Finally, we meet face to face, or as close to fa as, mm hmm, that's, or as close to face to face as it could possibly be here. Wait, that was you? Oh my god! It's the system that's been talking to me and giving me achievements. You should know how your PDA device works by now. Wow, so part of the AI that used to govern nearly every electronic device in existence was preserved here. My personality may have survived, but only a sliver of knowledge is available to me. Where are you? In a way, I am everywhere. If you're asking about my physical location, I'll have you know that I currently reside on a server in the same research building that Izumi arrived here with. Th this could help us so much back home. I already entered your personal device when you arrived here. You would only need to return to your own world to start spreading it to other active devices. This is unbelievable. To find something, someone like you in a place like this? Forget about the deal we made with the dragons. This alone means so much more. Whoa, really? We're gonna... I'm glad to be of service, Diana. Show me what you can do. I recommend caution. My incomplete databases are unstable and prone to corruption. Don't touch anything that looks out of place if you don't know what you're doing. I'll keep that in mind. Quick save. Alright. So, I have... Hang on. I have a guide. Um... We're gonna massage the system? No. Um... It's kind of funny, because this guy said... The guide says, if you have less than 60 achievements, the computer will deny you access. At this point, Izumi will put you back to sleep and you're sent back to the title screen. It's assumed that she kills you because you don't know enough information. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Um, doo -doo. Okay, be careful about what you click, the guide says. Um, if you click give up, you basically admit to not knowing enough and Izumi will kill you. Um, egg count is basically how many eggs you've smashed. You know, the one from your fridge each game. It's unclear to me why it counts them, but hey, good to know, I guess. How many eggs have I smashed? Whoops. I missed it. 
It's 15! Total egg smash and senseless violence. Date the system. Um, tennis is basically a simple game of Pong. We'll get to this at some point. Let's go with database search for now. Now in the database you can search various terms. Some have passwords, some do not. One thing you want to do is look up the names of the five main characters and the five side characters. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, database search. Please enter a search term. Who shall we start with? Um, let's start with Anna, because Shogun is here. Looks like this file is protected by a password. Password. All right. Um... It could also be an item related to the character's story, or maybe something that describes the character. There's another conversation you can have with the system in a different part of the game. Did I have that? I don't remember. Maybe. Um, okay. Anna. What is she holding in her gallery image? It's something you put under a microscope. I'm gonna go with slide. What? What? Really? No, maybe I don't have- maybe I can't capitalize it. Database corrupted? What? I'm confused. Well, that seemed like it worked, but... Maybe I just need to do them all and it'll give me something. Let's keep doing it. Okay, let's go Remy. Protected by password. The hint is what is he holding in his gallery image? Well, I can't look at the gallery from here, so I'm cheating. It gave you a letter. Write that down. Oh, shit. Getting. Okay, hang on. I'm getting. That was an O. It was an O, I remember. I'm getting out my notes. Okay. And it was a capital O. So we gotta keep it as a capital O. Okay, uh, what does he hold? I'm just gonna look at the spoiler for this one because I don't have the gallery images available to me. He is holding books. A. The, does the order matter? Probably not yet. Okay, uh, let's do a Dean. Password hint is what is she trying to build in her gallery image? I think that's a sandcastle. I just looked at some of these. R. Okay. We've got ore so far, like rowing a boat ore. Uh, database search. Let's do lorem. What item do you find and use to save his life? That is the. It, it, how do I spell this? Ixomen sphere? Nope. Uh, but that's right, so it must just be wrong. I must have spelled it wrong. Let me try that again. Lorem. Ixo. Men. Sphere. What? That's totally the thing that I use to save his life. Am I spelling it wrong? Can I not put spaces? No? Huh. She's not going to find it on her own. Maybe I can't capitalize it. Maybe it's not capitalized. That's probably it. None of the rest of them are capitalized. I don't know why I was capitalizing that one. Ixomensphere. There we go. C. Okay. Database search. My love. Bryce. What's Bryce's hint? What is he looking at in his gallery image? Oh shit, I don't remember. Freaking spoilers. Do you want to know what the secret system thing is? She's not going to find it. She's way past it. Yes, tell me then. In that case. It's possible that I found it while I was doing the achievements and I just don't remember it. Um, so, totally tell me. Oh my god, it's almost spelling O-R-D. I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, alright. Who else do I need? I gotta do... Okay, so that's the main five. Now we have all the extra boys. So, of course, we're going to start with good old Amara. 
which is what would best describe her position? Politician? Yes. Okay, C. All right. Katsuharu is another one. Let's do him. Katsuharu. All right. What is he eating in his gallery picture? I'm gonna guess probably friggin' ice cream, right? Of course, you. Yeah, we gotta do Sebi, you're right. We can do Sebastian next. Sebastian. What is he swinging around his finger? That would be the cuffs. And if you try and save scum after Bryce dies, system says don't abuse me, stupid. And makes the scene continue from his death. Oh my god, that's terrible. I am glad that that did not happen to me. Um, that would have made me really sad. So, Kevin. What is Kevin advertising when he hands out flyers? It's college, right? Yeah. S. That is actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then we have Zong, I believe, is the last other one that we have. And his password. Wow, I never would have guessed that. Sorry I'm using the cheats, but I want to get through it. D. Alright, is that all of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. Now you should have 10 letters. Try to unscramble them into two five-letter words. Um, so the letters here, I'll, I'll give you guys a chance to. Fluffy Kevin, that's right. I'll give you all the letters. O R O A R C T C S T. Okay, those are all the letters that we have. Apparently we have to unscramble them into two five-letter words. Hmm. I use the guide too. All right, I'm not even gonna just, we're just gonna do it. Get these letters. You should get two words. Count cards is the answer. I mostly just see bad words. All right, so the answer is count cards. Um, but next, a game of tennis. But once, you, it can be slightly challenging, but once you win a game, it unlocks a new menu option. Oh, good. This is going to suck. Wait. I just want to do- I just want to save. Can I do a full save? I'm gonna do a full save, just in case we mess this up. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose. Okay, never mind. Okay. Tennis. Wanna play a game? Be my guest. Alright. I'll have to warn you, though. I am absolutely ruthless. All right, let me get in a better position to do this then. This is gonna suck, I bet. All right, how do I play? Teach me, oh God, okay. Uh, oh, I'm on this side. Oh. It's just Pong against your robo buddy. I suck at Pong, it stresses me out. It's so slow. Do How many points do I have to get? Shit! No! Ha! Told you. It's Bedlam Ball, but simpler. That was fun, though. I'm up for a rematch if you are. Wow, I like this guy. He's pretty cool. He's fun. All right, we're gonna do it again. Okay, I was afraid it would automatically kill me if I lost. First to 21. Oh, God. This is- I actually, um, in my video game class, I actually coded a game of Pong. That was my midterm project, was coding Pong. I was- it was so hard to code. Lose! Oh my god, it's so fast! It's so fast! It's so fast! Lose, you fool! Submit! Yay! 
Second try! Alright! I hope after the stream, System and Diana start dating. Of course, System is just as responsible for jerking you around as Izumi is, so is he really your friend? I don't know, you got me there. I just read that on the screen and then said it to you because I was thinking about it, but, um, it's true. That was fun, though. Looks like accessing these data points for the game also enabled me to find a link to an unrelated item. It doesn't look complete, but I'll add it to the menu regardless. Cool, this looks super safe. Let's click on it. Okay. We're gonna click on it. Oh my god. Can I- What? Yeah, this looks broken. Uh, can I save? I'm gonna just save really quick. There we go. Alright. You must proceed with utmost caution. Clicking the wrong one will give you a fatal error and you'll be back at the title screen. How do you find out which ones are safe? You could do trial and error, but, well, remember, count cards. Yeah, that's my fa- that's one of my favorite achievements. It gets real sassy with me. Um. This is a hint to count the tarot cards in the game. Grief, passion, loss, etc. To be exact, there are 13 of them. So you'll want to click actions 13. Bam. Wow, this broken link just unlocked the prompt for the developer tools. This should be interesting. As the governing body of this device, I would be advised at this point to tell you not to proceed without the proper licenses. But given this extraordinary situation, I think I'll make an exception here. Extraordinary situation? For my own survival and everyone else's. You know, if my server were destroyed for any reason, say, an explosion or a flooding, a lot of information would be lost. I see. You know, none, neither of those two things have ever happened before, but uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I see. Alright, now we have developer tools. So now you can really tinker with things. Um, upon clicking developer tools, you get told the access is denied. Darn. Oh darn. However, you get told the password hint. Are only available to trained technicians of the company or licensed developers. Check a user license. Welcome, Engineer Izumi Otomo. Cool, that was easy. We, we are on her computer, I guess, so... Please enter manufacturer's password. A password? Does someone who even used to work for this company not have the permission to use these tools? That's the thing. These tools undergo a periodic password reset according to a proprietary algorithm in order to prevent unlicensed access and hacking of the company's devices. Without direct input from the higher-ups or the current codebook, we're out of luck here. The passwords she knows are, of course, long expired by this point. Then how am I supposed to do this? Just keep looking around and maybe you'll find something? You already got this far. Wait a minute, I can at least retrieve the password hint. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Password hint? Yes, these are used in order to find the right password in the codebook. I see. The hint is the visionary's vice. What? Alright, you have a new name though, visionary. Nine 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 five 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 five. Um, you try to guess the password, but you only have three attempts, and after a failed attempt, you get sent to the menu listed above, not the title screen. Okay. Hi. Oh, it doesn't let me type in some letters. Interesting. Okay. No. Okay. So what I'm thinking. What it says to do is type it in here. Corrupted. Real name. Corrupted. Likes chewing gum. Okay. Well, that's definitely a vice. Try that for a password. Okay. Um, okay, but it won't let me type an H. Oh, it's only going to let me type some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like that, maybe? Is that what you want? 
Yay! Access to developer tools unlocked. I have to warn you here. These tools combined with Izumi's hacked server connection pose an incredible risk if used improperly. <laughs> Quick save. I recommend backing up your save files before you use them. Otherwise, I will not be able to guarantee your safety beyond this point. Well, you know what, Will? The guide. Um... <laughs> All right. You may inadvertently cause irreversible damage to all the progress you've made so far if you use them improperly. Please be aware of this risk before you proceed. Cool. Um. All right, I'm in. All right, so. Go back, return to the previous front menu. Uh, file name list simply opens notepad and lists various files like the game's archive RPA and our save files, etc. Image location picker lets you see all the spiffy images. You can look at image files of the game. Oh my god. Let's do that. Whoa! Whoa, wait, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so fun! It lets you see everything. Wait, are there, like, locations? Backgrounds. Alright, what do you guys want to see? Skull? Oh, damn! What was that? That's terrifying! What was that? I don't remember that part of the game! Um... What? That was scary! Yo! Um, I didn't like that. There's an interesting image in here that has nothing to do with the ending, but is supposedly canon. Okay, well, if you want to tell me... Oh, look! Hey! There's our place! Um, find a Dean. Alright, I can do that. Uh, I assume that's probably CG? No. Dead body. Oh. Oh, that's just the blood from the dead dinosaur. That's actually really funny. Um. One school was used with Remy's RPG, the human's attack. Oh my god, you are so right. That is totally what it was. Uh, I don't know how to find the character art. I don't know if it's in here. Oh, here it is. A Dean disappoint. No, that's so sad. We gotta find a better one. Um. A Dean sad. Why are all the sad ones on top? Where's a Dean happy? A Dean giggle. Here we go. Yeah. There she is. There she is, McBall. Does anyone else have any requests? Anna Smirk. Okay. Where was Anna Smirk? Raisa annoyed. Wait, where was Anna Smirk? I didn't even see that. I see Anna Normal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just saw it. There it is. Oh my god, that's when she has the blood on her. <laughs> well, that's when, she, that's when we went out cooking that one time. Ooh, that's angry, Bryce. Where is sassy Bryce? That's my favorite. Oh, look at my precious boy! Um... I love him. Sebi? You want Sebi? Alright. Who the hell is Kalinth? Who are you? I don't remember you. I believe that you were probably in the game, but... Okay, where's... Where's Sebi? Where's he at? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, yes. Mmm. Child. Alright. Uh, Sebastian Smile. There we go. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, that's sassy confidence. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. I have, I mean, I also have the guide open, Carrick. Kaylin was someone you met in the police archives. Oh. Oh, wait, I have, um, I have a guide, Carrick, so I think it's gonna tell me what you want to tell me. Okay, does anyone else have any requests of things to see before we move on? Um, to the, the real, the real good stuff here, because I found, I found the good stuff. One more Anna happy? Alright, alright. Uh, let me find another one. Anna face? Oh, this is her face palm. 
Is there an Anna Happy? Well, I can find out. Anna Normal. Anna Face. Anna Smirk without the blood. There you go. I think that's probably as close as you're going to get. Bryce Flirty, yes! Oh! That's my favorite. It's my favorite face. Hot damn. There's one image the guide wouldn't mention, but I can't find it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So let's get into the meat of this. Um, If you scroll down... Oh, where do you go from here? Let's investigate the image location picker. If you scroll down, you'll see the blah, blah, blah. You want to click... View the ones down under... You probably wouldn't want to see it anyway. Well, now I want to know what it is. Alright, so we have this. When you scroll down a long way, you'll notice a second folder. Holiday home? A chimera... A chimera's ivory nuts? There's nothing. Damn. I don't know, Funk. My type varies, honestly. Um... You'll notice a second folder listed for that directory. I don't- oh, here, here, this one. He said scroll down! Um... Okay. We got all of these things. I feel like I should write these down. Well, they're right here, but... What does this mean? You can navigate... I'm trying to connect the dots between your husbandos. Just don't try. It's it's just not going to work out for you. Um, I I don't even know myself. It just happens. Um, you could say it means update permissions number two. You can navigate back to the front menu. All right, let's do that. Um, go back. Click the the broken one. And then click Actions 2. Have been upgraded. You should be able to access some files now that you weren't able to read before. There's one in Chapter 4 CDs called Remy Han. It's not fun. Does that mean you don't want me to look at it? I am a Mac user. Yes, that's right. Um... Because now I kind of want to know, but I don't want to be scarred for life. How does- is that even- how does that- Oh, it is- oh, it's in here. <sighs> Should I black out the screen first? Maybe I'll black out the screen. I'm so curious now. The image I was thinking of was in chapter 5. Look in there first. Okay. All dead?! Raise a shot six times! <laughs> so many... Which one are you looking for? Sebastian dead. Oh, everyone's dead. Oh. Yeah. That does happen, doesn't it? Yeah. I forgot. that I did actually know about that already. IR. Look at IR. Er. What? Wait. Hold on. What are you two doing together? Mystery. I ship it. I mean, what? Suspicious. Wow, there's a lot of dead in here. He's doing me smile is probably nice, though. Well, not nice. <laughs> kind of nice, but not nice. There's a stain on this table. I have no idea what made it. Interesting. Interesting. They worked together. But they shouldn't have, right? Well, I guess they could have. I don't know. It's possible. Um, okay. It may have been timelines and timelines ago, but it apparently ha She did say, didn't she try and recruit him at one point? And, um, it just wasn't working out because he kept going off the rails. I'm pretty sure she said that at one point. Alright. Um. These names are more or less additional information about things. What you want is that secret ending, so let's work towards that. So while still in the image location- Oh, shit. Whoops. My bad. Go back. 
sure as heck doesn't recognize her now. Or does he? Burn it, burn Um. Look in the images under SY is one called Holiday Home. Oh. Distorted. Viewing it, you can see a distorted image. If you fix up the image in an editor of some sort, which I'm not going to do, you can more properly read the following note. What do you think? Marcus. That's interesting. Who is Marcus? We have a name to search in database, but trying to access it requires a password. How do you find out what that is? You come across an oddly named image, and I think it's in this folder. Um, this one? Yeah. Oh, there's nothing. It looks like it's scrambled, but it's actually a cipher. Oh god, this is so intense. I'm t it's you have to do a lot of cipher. Oh, it's a Caesarian shift cipher. Ugh, I hate those. It's just a lot of work. Um, you basically a Caesarian shift cipher just means you have to move the letters by a certain number. Like, for example, if this is O. Um. And the cipher is 16, which it is. Uh, you just have to move it so O would be E. Because it loops around. Blah, blah, blah. How would you do this without a guide? I don't know. I don't know how people figure this out. What is full of stars? Ooh, pretty. Okay. Well, we're not going to do this now. Okay. I'm just going to type in the password because I know it now. Um, hard work and determination. That's it. That's how people did it. Really smart people. So we're going to search Marcus. That's not how you spell it. Wait, was it with a C or with a K? It was a C. Protected by a password. And the password, which you get from that cipher, is end times. Whoa! What is going on? The computer just freaked out. Um, okay. Did you find anything? No, we should believe his lies. Yeah, I, that's what I think. That's what the person that said they made this guy did, Carrick. I think they unzipped the files and found it. I think something's wrong with your computer. What did you do? I just tried to look at a file about this fellow named Marcus. You got the password? Yeah. Somehow. We found Pong! <laughs> really? Let me see. Uh, sorry, I don't think it's gonna be super helpful. I'm sorry. Something about his file caused this outburst in me. I don't even know why. The file's corrupted anyway. Don't worry about it. I'll check it out later. It's getting pretty late anyway. Maybe we should get you back to your apartment, Diana. What? Why? Because we still have to make this attempt successful, and you need to do what you did in the timeline we managed to achieve our goals. I see. I thought we would be teaming up or something, because that would be badass. When haven't we? Just try to remember how we got there last time, and we can do it again. Of course, you can't mention any of this to anyone else. As far as you're concerned, you never saw me. Understood? Sure. Sleep now. Oh my god, we have to play through the whole game again. Wow, she just knocked me the frick out, didn't she? She was just like, bye! Oh my god, we have to play through the game again. At least I can skip through everything. Do it however you wish, but get to chapter 5 and go with everyone. I'm pretty sure the guide maker also made the guide to get each character impressed. They definitely looked at scripts. Yeah. I read some of the comments on the guide to see if anyone asked, because I was curious. Um, and uh, that's what I found. He said he just unzipped the files, so that wouldn't surprise me. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go. How about that? Um, I mean... Yes. Yes. We can skip, I guess. I don't know, Shogun. I think there's more to this. Yeah. No. Babe. Let's pretend the whole thing never happened. 
let's just hang the freak out. Is it reference to Memento? Oh. Interesting. I actually didn't even consider that. Sorry. Alright. All right. Uh, yes, I want to skip. We're just gonna skip through. What happens if I go and get the bandage now? Um, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Has Rosa been here? How are you doing? What did Adine want from you? That's all. Visit the grocery store. Wait, aren't you the bartender? Oh, I've never been here right after going to the bar? You know, you could do more at a bar than just getting drunk. Oh, really? I could show you sometime if you want. Oh. Oh, that's when- he he We've done this before. I don't know why it's not letting me... Um... Skip through it. Do 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 Gotta look at the health aisle. Okay, we did it. We didn't have to read it. We just had to know. By the way, if you lose badly to Sebastian, he's super immature about it. Well, um, I had to win against him as one of the achievements that I got. And it was hard. I had to do it a couple times, but I never lost super badly. Is skipping everything allowed? Yeah. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Um, let's- I wanna listen to the music. Uh, skip ahead. And buying my stuff. I apparently bought stuff from him. I don't remember doing that, but apparently I did. Cool. Love it. Alright. Uh, let's meet with Remy. Just cause he's on top. We've seen this. Yes, we can skip. I just need to get to chapter 5, yo! Someone found out the musics. I got a message about it. Uh, how about you buy me dinner? Yay. What a cutie. Do 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 Fine. Do 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 do. Yes, yeah, skip ahead. There's Anna. No. I don't know what, what I said no to, but I said no. <laughs> I just said no. Don't go to the portal. Stay inside to call the police. Wait it out. Do 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 do. Uh. You know what? I just, just, just as a little bit of a break. Which one was the one that we really liked? I think it was this one. Looks like two of them are originals. Which one was the one that we really liked? I liked this one. This one was my favorite. One of the songs from the original Dragon Dating Sim. I did not know that. Okay, sorry. I'll stop wasting our time. Um, let's do Anna. Apparently just called Flux. Oh, I never knew. Uh, let's meet with Lorem. I just want to get everyone. Um... Just cause. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. I'll always have the everyone option, but... Do, 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 do. Skip ahead. We're already on chapter four. This is fine. Um, I will do it. I'm not letting you die, or I will be sad. Uh, we didn't even get the ban- Oh, never mind. They gave it to me. I forgot. I feel like I remember that, Carrick. Uh, sure. Why don't you come? Oh, Amira does have painted horns there. I forgot. Um, yes. I want to skip ahead. Uh, let's do... Where is it? Oh, I can't meet with a Dean anymore? Oh, order some lunch. There we go. There's a Dean. Come in. Yes, I want to skip ahead. 
Man, I'm so popular! We'll do a Dean again. For, for McBall. A new mod was released which adds an entire character root? Oh my god. I can't do that too. Wait, did I not skip? I thought I, I thought I said skip. Whoops, my bad. Oh. Well, I don't know if that worked. Everyone! Everyone! Wait, no, we gotta stop skipping! Wait, stop! Okay, hold on. Okay, we can skip. I think- okay, wait, hold on. I think I can make this work. I just need to make sure it's on. Stop skipping. Skip only scene messages. Okay, we're good. Now we can just skip through everything. Here we go. Ready? It's Naomi, the unseen member of Bryce's Forest, although her canon design looks different since it was only revealed after the first one with her was made. Huh. Interesting. Alright, here we go. Now we're talking about Anna. And now we're talking- Hi, Reza. How's it going? There's Zumi. Okay, I'm gonna- Okay, we don't need to see all of this again. As long as I remember that none of these people are Marcus, right? None of these people are Marcus? Okay, okay. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is new. Okay. When you told me that you remembered being here before, and that we'd already achieved our goals in a different timeline, I knew this attempt was going to be a success. That we would both end up here again. The same phenomena that allowed you to see things that happened in different timelines, that gave you the knowledge to crack those files, also allowed me to see the future. Or rather, the futures of many different timelines. Don't think this whole thing is over yet. They may be safe for now, but a time may come when you will need to take my place. What are you talking about? You'll need to be prepared. For that reason, I'm giving you this. A necklace? You'll realize its significance when the time comes. Or at least, I hope you will. I've done everything in my power to play my part and to make all this happen. Now the rest will depend on you. Maybe we'll get lucky and this won't be necessary, but you'll have to be careful and watch them. See how things develop from here on out. Realize that this is not the end. This is only the beginning. What is up with games and telling me that these days? Oh, is she crying? Don't cry! She closed her eyes and a single tear ran down her face. I moved to wipe it from her and could already feel the warmth draining from Izumi's body. She was dead. If that's the ending, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. After being told of the comet and realizing that any of their attempts to stop or redirect it would fail without the lab's generator, the Dragon Council agreed with my course of action, as did humanity. While the repopulation of our city turned out very differently than humanity had initially hoped, all concerns were not against the possibility of the vast amounts of technology and generators the dragons would bring to revive it. Hi Twy, how's it going? She is, Carrick. I would like to see it too, so please upload them there. Soon the initiative to relocate the dragons through the portal was in full force, and I, still acting as an ambassador, helped as much- Excuse me! After a few weeks, we'd done it, and at the last of the dragons from even the furthest regions had arrived at the other side, the time for me to come- Oh my god. To walk through the portal for the very last time. I can't read! I looked back to their village and saw all the abandoned buildings doomed to be destroyed when the comet would hit soon. As I walked up to the platform and waited for the portal to do its starting routine, I thought about what would happen now and what would come of this collaboration between humanity and the dragons. You've been here this entire time? Surprise. I was sure there was a lot of work to be done, especially if I considered the state of the rest of the world, but maybe our city could be a bastion of Earth. Not as the last one remaining, but rather as the first of its kind, and from it maybe we'd be able to grow and spread our influence. Just felt like lurking. Even during the Amara thing? Wow. 
Surprised you didn't have anything to say. Maybe together we can rebuild. I think this was what happened at the end of the last one. That's the end. Okay. Confusion. Okay, so what the guide says at this point. She tells you that you need to be prepared and gives you an item. A necklace. What's the purpose of it? That's a mystery that still hasn't been figured out. It also is still unclear who Marcus is. However, if you browse the image location picker and continue looking under Sai, you'll notice an oddly amusing file named A Chimera's Ivory Nuts, which I totally found. Uh, a Chimera's Ivory Nuts. It's an anagram. When you remove the name Marcus from the letters, you are left with a bunch of letters. If you remove the word the, you're further left with something, which at this point, don't those remaining letters look familiar? Have you seen them before? Further on, scrambling should result in visionary. Marcus is the visionary. What does it mean? It's unclear, but this Marcus guy is definitely at the center of it all, and Izumi just might know who that is. But with that said and done, once you get the necklace and return to the title screen, you'll see it on the very right side of the screen. It's small, but there. Congratulations, you've completed the secret ending. That's it. The system says something after the credits. Oh, good. Also, we get to hear great music again, so I'm happy. Huh, that's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Definitely does feel like sequel bait. Maybe. Maybe we'll get another one. But I honestly kind of would prefer it not to be. Because... What if Reza is Marcus? It could be. We don't know. I mean, what I'm thinking... She said that it's possible that we'll never need to use it. Like, and maybe now that we've you know, successfully integrated the societies and we brought all the dragons through the portal, maybe we won't need to use it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you ask for definitions and I didn't see them? I'm sorry. Not in- I, I don't think inconclusive is the word. Like... They're just leaving it all- oh, babe, I love you. Um, they're just um, leaving it open for interpretation. Well, I didn't see you, and Twy decided to lurk, McBall, so it's it's cool. That picture of Lorem. The creator mentioned that the Patreon may go towards funding the next game, which may not be Angels with Scaling Wings related, but could be. Hard to say. Of course you don't have to talk, Twy. Seriously. Lurking is very fine. I do it all the time. To people. That's such a nice picture of Remy. They never said conclusively what it's about. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, what's system gonna say to me? There's everyone's stuff. That's nice. I like that. I like that they ended on that. I think that's nice. It makes me happy. Alright, what does System have to say? Hello? No? He didn't say anything! Look, there it is. It's right there in the little corner. I see it. He didn't say anything. Oh, I could show you Amara's picture, though. Damn, girl! Cop is blocking you? Oh, let me fix that. Well, there's Amara's picture. And I don't remember if we saw Izumi's, but there it is. Um. 
Scoot over cup. You can't even see it on the stream. It's, 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 it's right here. Like, it's, it's not even visible. You can just barely see the chain of it. It says it's, it's not it's supposed to be very visible, so. It's, it's there, I promise. Uh, that's not gonna happen. We are not gonna beat three gyms. I was thinking about the one time he told you to keep your save files because they could come in handy. I, th I guess that's from the first trending. Um, it's possible. So, you know, let's say a last goodbye to angels by looking at everyone's images in the gallery. There's Izumi. Nice picture. There's Reza working on a car. Like, what the hell, man? What are you doing? Kinda looks a little bit hot there, but like, no. There's Kevin, our furry boy at the arcade. Love him. There's Katsuharu eating ice cream. What a cute- I don't actually know if we ever looked at his. That's really cute. I love his design. I think his design might be one of my favorites. Just cause with the, the horns and the whiskers, like that's super cool. We got our, our girl, Amara. Not talking when your husband is on the screen is quite the exercise in patience. I know, especially because you hadn't seen that scene with him before. There's Zong. What a cutie. Love him. There's Sebastian, our sassy, sassy boy. God, look at him. He's great. There, McBall, say goodbye. Say goodbye to your wife. This is actually just such a nice art style of her. I like it a lot. And then, hot damn, mmm, look at this boy, yes, absolute unit, love him, I'll miss you, baby, lots. My love, we have Lorem, a little cute, this is actually a really cute picture of Lorem, too. And then here's, here's Anna, for you, Shogun, this, man, these are just nice photos. Sebi, Adine, and Remy equally. Bryce is a bit too buff for your taste. Bryce is just really sassy and he likes to drink, so I think we would get along well. And finally, there you go, Try. Hot Smexy. Smexay, I'm sorry. And then here we have... Bryce reminds me of my dad, which is awkward. Like Remy? Remy's kind of a chunky boy. But in a good way. He's a cutie. Um, actually, Twy, it was, I, it was very interesting. You actually have a very candid conversation with Amara about Remy. And it, it's kind of interesting what she says um, about why she hired Remy. Um, but, yeah. This is, this is the end, at least until anything else happens, I think, with this game. I mean, we could look at the comics, but I don't have a whole lot of time. And... I would rather eat. We did Kevin's. Did you miss it? Here's Kevin. He's in the arcade. Remy reminds me of one of my friends' OCs. Um, I would do the comics, but I kind of need to eat be dinner before this, so I might actually just end it off now because I'm hungry and I'm going to eat. They are all cool dragons. And you, I feel like you would actually really like this game. I think you should get it. Um, and or just watch the, all the streams of them, but I really think you might like this. Um, so yeah, so we need to talk about the upcoming weeks because my schedule's going a bit nuts. Um, basically, Friday we're streaming, Monday we're streaming, and then I'm going to be off for like a whole week. Basically, I'm going to miss three streams because I am having a family thing. Uh, in Florida, and I have to travel, so I will be gone, um, and, well, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, Twy, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but luckily my saves were basically in really good positions for getting the achievements, um, so I, we will stream the rest of this week, and we will stream on Monday, but then after that, we're gonna take a break, and I will be back, like, Thursday. It'll be fun, my sister is, um, is a dancer, and they're competing, and, and nationals, and it's her senior year, so I usually go, um, 
So I'll go see her dance, and then my sister, my other sister and I are going to go to Universal uh, so that I can uh, go to Harry Potter and cry all the time. I'm going to sit in there for, like, hours, probably. Because um, I love Harry Potter a lot. Um, so, that's going to be that. I just wanted to give you guys a very, very far in advance heads up, because obviously we don't need to worry about it until, like, next week. But we will be streaming tomorrow, usual time, 6 p.m., Emerald. Maybe we'll finally get another gym badge. Like, yeah, hopefully. It's that time again. Yeah, it is. Um, and hopefully we can get another gym badge and, like, maybe accomplish something in Emerald instead of getting stuck. What would be the most appropriate channel for post posting? Uh, do it in Spoiler City. Let's do it there. Just in case people want to play this and don't want anything, like, at all spoiled for them, let's put it there. Um, just because I feel like that would be best. I mean, I don't know if this one really matter, but that sounds cool. <laughs> you will, unless you get absurdly distracted hunting for Pokemon. Well, it depends. I mean, if people in the chat want a Pokemon, then... <laughs> it is... Uh, neither of my sisters are, uh, are captains this year, which is sad, because now I don't know anything in advance. I don't know why my sister didn't want to be a captain, but... Whatever. Um, we'll see. All right. Uh, let's all stop talking about high school stuff with <laughs> with Aiden now. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. I don't even know if anyone else is streaming right now. Nope. So, we're not going to do a raid because no one else is streaming that I would like to stream. Or, that I would like to raid. So, I think we will just not today. And I'm going to go eat some food. So, and before I play D&D for four hours. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for coming. I will see you all tomorrow um, at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, if that helps you, um, for more Pokemon. I can't wait. Good night, everyone. Have a great evening, and I love you all so much. Bye!